An emotional night as a crowd gathers to say farewell to the Loxahatchee Groves man who was shot and killed by a Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy. Despite investigators saying that Seth Adams threatened the life of a deputy, family and friends continue to insist Adams couldn't have done wrong. News Channel 5 Jeff Skrypik joins us live now from Loxahatchee Groves. He joins us with how Adams was remembered tonight. Jeff? Well, John and Tanya, this parking lot continues to be a constant reminder of where our PBSO deputy shot and killed Seth Adams. But tonight, as you can see behind me, as this memorial for Adams continues to grow, family and friends trying to push beyond what happened here and focus on the man they say touched so many lives. They sit and listen, thinking about the man whose name is printed on nearly every bag. I just want to thank all of you for coming out. and It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. Fighting back tears, family and friends of Seth Adams try to think of the better times. I remember thinking on our first date when we went out, I went home and I called my best friend and told her, I was like, I called her and I was like, I'm in love with him. I really, I was like, we're going to get married. Said, Adams' yeah. girlfriend, Taylor Linston, is joined by hundreds of others who insist. The 24-year-old was a man who touched the lives of nearly every person he met for the better. I couldn't be the man I am today if it wasn't for him. You know, and every time I looked down, he told me to look right back up. Adams was shot and killed by Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy after investigators say he threatened the life of a deputy. But judging by the shirts worn, pushing what supporters call a petition for justice, many disagree with the account of events. We know a great injustice has been done based on the circumstances and our tendency is as humans <clears throat> an appeal for justice to be done we but for a few hours as kind words are read and songs of healing are sang an effort is made to go past what happened that fateful night Seth we got to remember in celebrating this that Seth is in a happier and a better place even though we are the ones that hurt the pain of Adam's absence is clear, a pain only time can heal. So off you go, Sethy boy. Gone and away, but his memory stowed in their hearts forever. Now, the family of Seth Adams chose not to speak out at today's memorial service, but a friend close to them says that the community support has been overwhelming and a crucial part of the healing process. Reporting live in Loxahatchee Groves, Jeff Scrypeck, WPTV News Channel 5.